Here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, the theme is largely American muscle cars. But every once in a while, we find something unique that came from somewhere else, and not just the owner. <laughs> Ulf, <laughs> tell me, uh, where are you from and what you bring? I'm from Sweden, and I brought here a 1965 Dodge Dart Charger. Now, the interesting thing is, he did say a Dart Charger. Now, around here, you either have a Dart or you got a Charger. Yep. Tell me how this car is unique. Uh, back in the 60s, Plymouth had the Formula S option for their Barracudas. Ford got their Mustang, but the Dodge division didn't have anything to compete with. So, uh, LA, Orange County Dodge dealers make this option to have something to sell and also to promote the Charger name for the B-Body that was on as a new car line from 1966. Mm -hmm. So this is a U.S. based car. Yeah. And uh, we're very familiar with that Formula S. Yeah. It's a very cool car. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what other elements made the Dart Charger unique? Uh, first of all, it's got all the high performance extras. It's got the yellow paint, which wasn't official until 1965 at the end of that year. Uh, it's got a Gregor SS rims. Uh, it had a white interior, which wasn't as an option until March of 65. And what's under the hood? 273 high performance V8. So a very similar V8 to what was in that Formula S. Yeah, actually it's the same engine. Mm -hmm. It's just some stickers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And is all the rest of the trim standard dark stuff? I noticed the, the uh, holes in the rocker, holes. the portholes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, everything is just like a standard Dart GT, except for the badges and, and, and rims and, and the paint. So if this was a group effort by Southern California Dodge dealers, do you know how many of these were actually produced? They produced 180 cars and about 30% for convertibles. And do we know, you know, you never see these things. Are there many left? Uh, what we know, it's 15 hardtops and 5 convertibles. <laughs> So they are kind of rare. Absolutely. So it fits right in here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Uh, so you're from Sweden now. Yep. Did the car come over from there too, or how do you know the history of the car? What's going on with that? Um, I got to know about the Dark Charter back in the late 80s and rounded up information until 2005. That's when the first time I saw a car for sale. Wow. So I bought it back in 2005, shipped it back to Sweden. And restore it until June this year. Really? Yeah. So this is a fresh restoration? Yeah. It sure looks like it. The condition's fantastic. Thank you. And uh, so did you personally do the restoration? Did you have a shop do it? No, I did everything myself. Everything? Everything. How bad was it? Well, the, the, the body was pretty solid. It had some rust issues, but the car was untouched. I'm the sixth owner of the car, uh, but it, it had some rust issues. But I mean, interior was shot, uh, but I mean, everything was there. So tell me about the uh, your experience here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Is this your first time at the show? First time at the show. Never heard of the show until March this year. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, but it's, uh, it's awesome. I couldn't believe it when we got here yesterday. Yeah, some neat stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, your car definitely contributes to the uh, the magic of the show. And in fact, I liked it so much, I picked it as our celebrity pick, and I'm not sure really what that's worth, but it'll uh, get you a nice little plaque and uh, a little appreciation for bringing it out. We really appreciate it. Thanks for bringing it out. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Maybe we should start calling this show the Muscle Car and Corvette Internationals. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs>